Hey, what's good? What's good with the YouTube? With the Benazels? What's on with it? Hey, it's your boy Statistics, and y'all nigga need to get with it. You feel me? So look, um, this is the first little bit of first little bit of um 2K22 news we didn't got so far. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, um, y'all might see my lip is a little pink. You feel me? But yeah, I've been biting on my lip and shit, so don't mind that. But look, this we about to do. We about to get into this video. I like to watch this. Make sure y'all watch this video before y'all make y'all bills and shit like that too. And you know, let's get straight to it. I know you want to learn more about NBA 2K22. So here to talk about it is the source himself, gameplay director, Mike Wang. Welcome again to 2K TV. Always a pleasure having you on. It's a great pleasure being here again, Alexis. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. So we're getting close to launch time and you've released some time, details on your blog and social media. So tell us what's going on with NBA 2K22 that you can share with us. Oh, wow, well, there's so many things to share, Alexis. And it's the city got a big rework. On Gen 4, there's a cruise boat. It's crazy. Uh, there's just so much going on with gameplay, an all new defensive mechanic system that feels way better to me. Uh, it's a lot more fun, a lot more comp competitive. And um, just across the board, so many areas were touched. So I don't know where we want to start, but let's talk about some gameplay maybe. All right, let's do that. What do you think the community is going to be most excited about with gameplay changes? Uh, it's going to be a hard one to pinpoint. I'm going to say two things. But number one, uh, because this is one of our biggest pillars for gameplay this year, it's going to be defense. And I think that's going to be just perimeter defense, defense to be body ups on the floor, movement, and how the players feel uh, just in, in on ball defense. I kind of like you about to get that cooked by Damian Lillard. Oh, but God. Yeah, especially. Uh, but like you about to get that cooked. All that stuff was reworked. We have an all new block system. Um, it just feels much more rewarding on the defensive end of the floor, uh, just making plays and getting stops. So I think that's going to be the most exciting thing for our community because it's just a much more balanced game and a much more fun game to play. And the second thing I'm going to say is because uh, this is one of my personal uh, favorites is going to be dribbling. I think that um, just all the stuff we've added there with the new. He said it's going to be dribbling. Wait a minute now. Hey, wait a minute. Brian never just said the dribbling going to be a, uh, you feel me, like one of the main things to, they focused on on next gen 22. Hey, y'all know. Hey, stats might be back. You feel what I'm saying? I may be back. The ISO demon. Feel what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. New combos and the new signature moves. This is going to be a lot of fun. So if you're a, a dribble guy, a dribble That's interesting head, right there. Uh, you're going like to have a lot that. to work with this year. What is Mike Wang most excited about with 2K22 gameplay? Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, I think just what I alluded to is, is just the game feels way more balanced. And it makes more sense uh, just in terms of um, how we're rewarding players if they are doing the right thing on the court. I know it sounds really general and really basic, but uh, a lot of times in the past, you know, sometimes you'd make the right play or make the right, do the right thing, but you weren't, weren't always rewarded for it. And if we're in 2K22, I feel like that's um, just, it's much more uh, just a one-to-one. -one. Uh, if you make the right play, you get rewarded. You get the right stops or you, you score. Um, so just shooting open shots, taking high IQ shots. A lot of be clamping a nigga up for 23 seconds and he scored the last second. That's probably what they fixed. And that's what they need to fix if they didn't. Feel what I'm saying? Niggas be tired of playing defense and niggas still scoring them and shit. Shit crazy. Much more awarded. It just feels way better to um, make the right play, get open, knock down those open jumpers. There's so much fun to play with. And Luca too, right? We brought in Luca from OCAP and he gave us his patented step back jumper and his moves and um, so the nicest guy and uh, super funny. Uh, just a pleasure to work with. So we're so excited that he's our, our cover guy this year. And that's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit more about Seasons? Yeah, so Seasons is gonna be, um, you know, we've had it in the past with my team. And the goal uh, that Eric Benish wanted this year was to really extend the Seasons across the entire game. Uh, so I'll speak to gameplay because that's my area. Uh, what we're doing with Seasons is we're gonna try and release content throughout the entire year. Um, so, you know, on day one, we've usually just thrown all the animations at you, all the signature moves and shots and everything. Um, but we're going to try and roll that out across the year uh, just to kind of change the meta up a little bit. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. To trying to change the meta up a little bit. Low key, bro, to what it seemed like he's saying is 
I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. You feel me? What y'all Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. What y'all think about what he just said. It's going to be seasons throughout the year. And then they're going to drop like dribble moves and jump shots later on within the year. You feel me? And it's like, bro, what? We got to wait until July to get base 98? We gotta wait until bro. We gotta wait until July to be able to curry slot. Even I don't. I don't really care about the curry slot. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like, are they already? Are they gonna already like? Are they gonna already have like a lot of dribble moves in the game at launch and then release like something that could be better or that is better throughout the year? Or are they just gonna? Or that is it's or it's an unfinished game and they gonna put like three in the message at the beginning of the game and by the end of the game it's gonna be about seven eight animations you feel me like i don't know that seemed like it and that kind of seemed bad to me that kind of seemed terrible to me y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below y'all thoughts and opinions on what he just said but let me go ahead and finish the video for y'all uh give people something to look forward to and uh it's really gonna i think just prolong the life of the game and, and make people uh just excited to try new things as the year goes on mike i know that a lot of players love making the hey Hey, hey, bro. Hey, you gonna get that? You gonna get that new? You, hey, bro. The, hey, the behind the back three dropping tomorrow. You gonna? Hey, you gonna get that behind the back three? Nah, bro. I ain't, ain't, you feel me? Battle pass type shit. You feel me? I ain't even gonna get that pro three tomorrow. I'ma just stick with what I got. But pro three may be better though, boy. What you time at? No, let me. Dominant archetypes of NBA 2K and NBA 2K21, it seemed like it was the power forward. So, Mike, what do you think the dominant archetype will be uh, four, for your six, NBA seven, 2K22? Power forwards. That's, a, that's a good question because that's something that we are always trying to balance and tune because we don't really want there to be one dominant archetype, right? So, um, the power forward thing is fixed and uh, it's, it's much more spread out in terms of the badges you get per position and, and heights and, and archetypes. But one thing we really focused on was trying to make all the different heights and positions have unique strengths and abilities. Uh, so one thing that I think might actually be interesting is we might have a lot of smaller players this year. Um, if you are you know, six foot or under, you get a massive speed boost. Um, you have access to higher ball handling ratings as well as like three point ratings. So a lot of people might gravitate toward that, that direction this year. Having said that, in our online test here internally, uh, we've got a guy who plays as like a seven foot center every single time and he is so dominant in our games so you know i think it's a good mix because i think you're going to have people who want to be kind of that in, in, in the middle road small forward power forward and still kind of do it all but you might see some players gravitate toward like point guards small point guards even and then like big centers and hopefully we have the whole gamut covered and it's a much more balanced experience overall what are the game all right so with look what that being said is they going back to like the 2K16 way. Because I don't know if y'all remember, but 5'7 point guards, 5'7 outside point guards could get like a 99 ball control, 99 three point on uh on 2K16. That, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like that's a W. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to go for like a 6'7. I'm gonna try to go for like a 6'7. I'm looking for like a 6'5 through 6'7 point guard, for real, for real. Or a shooting guard. You feel what I'm saying? Because then, like, even if we don't get, like, the fast speed boost, like, quick first step Hall of Fame at the beginning of the year, like, the build is going to be good. Then at Legend, at Legend, bro, a 6-7 point guard is going to be godlike. Especially if they still got the little the uh, Hall of Fame badges and stuff with the game and stuff like that, too. You feel what I'm saying? So that's going to be a W on God it is. Gameplay differences between Gen 4 and Gen 5. That's an interesting question because we wanted to do our best to try to keep parity between Gen 5 and Gen 4 as much as possible. So all the stuff that I mentioned before, like the dribble moves and combos, all that's going for both gens. Um, but Gen 5 has some, some great features that are exclusive to that generation because um, all the stuff we did with foot planting, um, a lot of tech with movement, that's all going to be exclusive to Gen 5. And we also have some pretty interesting features which we're going to probably go into in a little bit later um, uh, with alley-oops and with dunks. Uh, that provides a bit of a skill mechanic to those specific moves. So stay tuned for more on that. But they're a lot of fun to use. And uh, yeah, I think our, our gamers going to love, love uh, just trying out these new features that are specific to Gen 5. Well, thank you so much for giving us a preview of NBA 2K22. We are so excited for the game to release. And I know you are so excited as well. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. It was great being here. And we're so excited for our fans this year. It's going to be a great year for NBA 2K. 
All right, that's the end of that. Make sure all of y'all tell me what y'all what y'all opinions is down below. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it right there. You feel me? So look, tell us about that. Tell us about that. Tell me what you think. Tell me what bill you think you're gonna make on uh next gen. If you are playing next gen, or tell me if you're gonna play current or next. You feel what I'm saying? But give me y'all thoughts and opinions. And if y'all like my video, if y'all like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I've been on hey look, one thing I didn't tell y'all, I've been on Xbox for about five, about five, about four or five years as a content creator. I'm finally switching over to PlayStation. And me switching over to PlayStation is basically gonna help me, help my brand, help me get bigger help me grow and all that so it's a w for me i already got my logo switched over and stuff like that too so stay tuned for me on playstation if y'all didn't add me yet on playstation my psn is i'm statistics i m s t a h t i s t i c s and that's the end of the video make sure you like share comment subscribe and we gone you feel me yeah.